Hello and welcome back to Life is Feudal Force Village, a new beginning. Welcome back to Old Ashton, our little village. It's growing up. <laughs> um, so, we have very little veggies left in this barn, which is okay. Um, and that was having three full potato farms being grown. I think we'll keep the three potato farms because we still have a, a, a excess supply of clothing. And I think the people are getting clothes. Let's check here. Yeah, they, they're, they're getting clothes. So that's not, not too bad of a, an issue. Oh, there's some rocks and stuff out here. Let's go ahead and do a full... We might as well do a full sweep of uh, this area. Just get it all. Why not, right? Get all the mi minerals and stuff. We'll end up using it all anyway. Uh, we've got a little bit of excess of the uh, cast iron going. I can't remember if I still have somebody uh, running the... Uh... Yeah, I still have somebody making the cast iron, which is okay. Uh, so I might need another farm down here. But I gotta start. Th I gotta start thinking because I've got three people making charcoal. I'm gonna have. Eventually, I'll probably have like. Uh, I may move this because I'm not gonna have a lot of wood down here. I have no wood down here as it as it stands. So I may have to move. I may have to move this or have transport of wood down to this barn. That that may may be what we do. And uh, to have like say three, say I have two there. So that's like five workers. Six, seven, eight. 9, 12, 15 workers, and then whatever I put in, in, in various mines and stuff. So I guess I have enough room for another, maybe another orchard and maybe another farm. Do I have room to put a farm like right here? I could put a weird looking farm right here. Right. It's not going to be a very big one. But we can put a farm in there. And I was thinking about putting an orchard over here. Just get another orchard going. Uh, start it in the far corner there. That's as big as I can get it, basically. I can't go that far. It's kind of annoying. And I can't, I can't actually do that. Okay, so I can't do that. I can do another 18 by 10 orchard. Yeah, let's do that. We'll get another farm, another orchard. We've got a ton of builders uh, right now. So, oh, we let's get everybody... Uh, let's get everybody set up. Let's take... Uh, yeah, we're, we're basically set right now. We'll need two more builders for the new farms. Uh, we're going to go potatoes. Uh, we're going to go wheat. Uh, let's do oats again, just so to make sure that we don't run out of of oats. We got a bit of a bit of a wheat uh, stockpile, so that's okay. We'll, we'll just hold on to that for now. Uh, we'll go oats this this season with potatoes again, of course. Um, and our stockpile of veggies up here is going down, but our stockpile of fruit and meat here is not going anywhere. So not only the one house here, I think, is grabbing from this barn. These guys don't tend to be grabbing from this barn. Uh, we are fully, uh, we're fully staffed here, fully populated. We could build a new house this season. Uh, let's get these. Uh, this one is up and running. Okay, we'll uh, we'll put potatoes here as well, and uh, we can only do apples here. So we'll do that, and uh, we'll get somebody work. Yeah, we'll get somebody working that. We'll get somebody working this. It's a small field. It's okay. We'll get people working in those fields, and uh, there we have uh, five people with no jobs. Uh, so we can get three gatherers. That'll get us some more fruit. All the gathering and stuff is going into this barn, so this barn is just going to keep getting filled up, which is fine. 
I need to think about uh, another new barn. I'm, I think I'm going to put a, a ramp up here. Let's do that. We'll put a, a ramp up on this side as well. We got our full hunters working. And we are planting oats. Are we? We got another orchard going. Uh, so we'll get some fruit this year. Got a little bit of fruit that nobody's taking here. Gardener died of old age. Okay, so somebody died of old age. Uh, so we'll get another child uh, coming in probably soon to replace the uh, person that died of old age. Housing wise, I'm not really sure where I want to. I don't need the. I don't need the teacher anymore, so I can take you off. I want to see if I can get a bit of a stock. I'm not, I'm not going to increase my population this year, I don't think. I want to see if I can get a better stockpile of food going before I do that again. Because um, we are going through our, our fish right now. So uh, I am transporting fish out here. And I can probably stop doing that right now. I could probably s stop that that run. So we've got a thousand fish transported there we'll uh we'll, we'll stockpile some more fish back up here because this is the only food that we have here we could start transporting let's see what we got here we could transport the uh, fruit let's let's do one of those let's do one of those runs let's see uh we'll go here we'll transport fruit from this barn to this barn getting some fruit this season it looks like so we have uh, 4,000 fish which is good we're building up a bit of a stockpile of eggs here wow all the fruits uh, are getting pulled out of there pretty quick I will right, we'll stop that run now. We'll leave the 57 fruit in there. Because right now we're down to about 3,000 food total in here. Uh, and that's before the potatoes come in. Uh, we should get another batch of potatoes. Um, we'll sort of see what our food looks like after uh, in basically uh, early spring next year. Uh, here are our potatoes. We were around 4,000 uh, veggies at one point up here, but that's gone down. Uh, oat wise, we have a bit of oats over here, a bit of oats over here, and we have a bit of oats over here. We could consolidate all the oats in one of the barns. I can probably actually, let's make a run to actually get all the oats out of this barn down here because we don't really need that. So yeah, let's go ahead and take all the oats out of this barn and put them in this barn. Just makes sense. We don't really need the oats here. They're much, uh, much better off over here or over here uh, closer to the, uh, the chicken farm here. Yeah, we're definitely going to get, we'll get two batches of oats for sure this season. Let's go ahead and I'm going to do a big terraform here. 
guess that's as big as I can go that way. I think that that's... Yeah, we'll do a big terraform there. Thinking of putting another gatherer's uh, lodge and maybe another hunting lodge sort of out here. We've got a lot of uh, odd jobs for our laborers to do, so they're, they're always going to be busy right now. And firewood and charcoal, we're building up a bit of a stockpile, so that's not bad. And all the oats should be out of there now, so we can actually just cancel that. And uh, let's do, what job do we want to do now? Uh, let's actually move the wood. We're going to move some of the wood from here to here. Um, that way, uh, we're using the wood to make firewood. There we go. We're about 4,000 food here, which I'm happy about. And we're about 4,000 eatable, eatable food here <laughs> right now. And then we have a little bit of a overflow in this barn. And that's where a lot of our gathering, our meat and our gathering stuff is ending up. Some of the meat, of course, is ending up here. We haven't suffered from full barn in a while. As we're into summer. I just kind of want to see where my food is at if we uh, just do a uh, one, one year here with the extra extra farm in the bottom half here and again we only have the one farm producing food for the top half um, you know as well as the you know we're getting the chickens we're not eating the eggs right now but that's okay I'm stockpiling the eggs for a little bit This barn is actually going to probably fill up. We have lots of herbs right now, so I, I don't need to do any herb herb gathering. Wow, this terraform is a big job. I might as well get somebody on it. Start gathering the wood and stuff. We lost another farmer. We have uh, we had two people die of old age. Next year, we're definitely going to have to increase our population. We might build a large house. Sort of see where our food is at and see what our uh, our options are there. That's a that's a big increase in population. So you have to de you definitely have to have a. Uh, in excess in food. Oh yeah, we're going to get another uh, full thing of oats. We're going to get a lot of oats. This barn's going to be full, full to the brim with oats probably. And our fish is stockpiling up nicely over here. And we got a, another, over a thousand veggies as well. Plus we got fruit. Uh, we moved a bunch of the fruit out of 
uh, this barn to here. Plus we got some fruit from our, our one orchard. And then this orchard will probably produce fruit next season. Uh, I might think about putting a well nearby actually. Let's do that. There'll be a lot more people available for terraforming come, come winter. Yeah, it's like 104 wood to, to bring in. So there's no point in you guys uh, growing again. Well, you know what, maybe, maybe we'll get a little bit more. Why are you hungry? Can I, uh, can I unbug you? No, why can't I unbug you? You don't have a job to do, do you? Oh, they starved to death. So I had heard that there has been some some bugs with the caravan routes and, and that that's one of them there um so that person starved to death uh we did get a bunch of the wood down here so we've got a bunch of the wood which we're going to convert into uh, firewood these people are picking up their charcoal so that's fine i could um have some charcoal move to this uh to this barn Problem is, is we we already lost uh, we already <laughs> lost a person to starvation. Uh, so we've lost three people this uh, this year: uh, two to old age and one to a bug, basically. Yeah, you guys are just not going to get anything out of your farms, um, but we're going to get some out of here. We're actually going to get a full uh, full other harvest probably, and we'll get a. Partial harvest up there. That one we get a full harvest, and here we're already. Uh, we're not gonna get a full harvest up here either, but we'll get some more. Yeah, we've got a bit of fruit from our gathering operations over there. And we have cleared out all the trees, uh, so we're sort of starting the leveling process. It's going to take a little while. Uh, let's uh, definitely harvest, harvest, and uh, harvest. And at this point, there's really just some oats there. Uh, there's no point in you guys doing anything any further here. You're not going to get anything out of your fields. I should have taken you off earlier. It's okay. And uh, you guys have transported all your goods. No point in you guys doing anything further here. Just harvest as much as you can now at this point. We're almost at 5,000 veggies and 4,000 fish. So that's not bad. Uh, we have no bread, so we did eat all our bread. Again, we have a good stockpile of oats now. That should tide us over. Um, such that we can basically do something else with this farm uh, next season. There, now we have a bunch of people uh, helping out with the terraforming. some uh, 
some roads going through town here around this barn I've only had one uh, one birth after our two deaths, but there might be some expecting if I look. Not there. They're expecting a baby. We've got a decent supply of firewood and a decent supply of charcoal. So nobody should, oh, why do I still have you guys on this farm? Taking you guys off. I think all the farmers are off now, right? All right, there we go. Uh, so now we uh, can take the gatherers off as well. So we have a bunch of laborers. Um, and what we can do is uh, we can get some more stone going, might as well. And uh, we should think about, can we afford to build a new house? Or do we need another food source? Let's wait for this terraforming to be done and then I'll think about it. It's cold. He's carrying fuel to the house. He's not cold anymore. We could definitely use probably a, a couple more farms up here. I was also thinking of putting a gathering shack over here. I might do that. Let's put a gathering shack. Is that the entrance there? Yeah. Put a gathering shack here by the, uh, the old hunter shack. We almost finished that terraforming. I think we did all the odd jobs too. Cool, that terraforming is done. Nice, okay. So uh, I was gonna terraform. Uh, this region here as well. Oops, that. Fix that just to make sure. There we go. And we're doing okay on food. It's uh, winter. We still have close to 10,000 food. So we could probably build a new house. And then with uh, the new population coming through, we could think about think about some other things. I'm trying to think about where I want to put the new house. Kind of maybe right here. Build our first large uh, large structure. Uh, once that terraforming is done, I guess I could build it like here. But I was thinking about having it. Somewhere over here. Where's the actual entrance? That's the actual entrance, okay. Yeah, so I was thinking about having it somewhere in here. Alright, we'll build a bit we'll build a large house. We'll 
we'll get the full seven builders on it. It should hopefully get done this winter, maybe. They might have to get some wood from uh, farther away. Oh yeah, we're also building the gatherer's place. It's almost done. I've definitely used pretty much all the wood from here. And all this wood's getting used for uh, making uh, charcoal. It's late winter and our food is still pretty good, so we should be able to handle uh, an increase in population. Our tools have gone down. getting there I will see what the cost is to upgrade this right away because <clears throat> I think it'll go from like 10 to 12 that'll be a big influx in impossible population it is early spring I'm gonna let this uh, I'm gonna let this house finish I want to see what the resource uh, allotment is here can take I have to decide what I want to do here um, I think we can do potatoes this year I can take another person off get them on there oh and we can take people out of our stone mine right now to almost fill in uh, what we need to go here I'm gonna take you off that. We're gonna we're gonna start making some tools in a, in a second here. Let's look and see. Okay, we're gonna pause the game. <laughs> Instantly, a whole bunch of people, seven people, move there. That was a mistake. But uh, I want to see how what the cost is. Uh, wood. Wood is really. Uh, wood is the huge cost there. So um, I would like to upgrade it, but I might have to wait. I don't have enough wood right now. We'll get people into gathering. So we can get as much sort of food this uh, season as possible. <clears throat> now this barn is going to feed this house and this house. All right, so right now it's going to be feeding 11 people. And it doesn't have a lot in it. Um, do we have any people move from down here? Okay, well, I hope you've been enjoying this look at Life is Feudal Forest Village. I hope building this large house doesn't uh, screw me over. I think I have a decent amount of food. And if I do two full uh, potato farms here, I'll probably fill this barn up completely and start filling this barn with potatoes or vegetables. And that's in addition to whatever meat and... Uh, meat fruit and veggies we're getting from gathering as well so we should get enough food i think i hope we may fill up a bunch of barns here we'll see this barn is actually pretty full considering uh we're just into early spring we still have 800 veggies um, and that's by having uh four uh four farms going down here and i think uh we still have a surplus of clothes uh we're gonna need tools um, I might do some flax, but uh, we might just do another another round of veggies just because we're going to have an influx of, of people coming in this uh, this year and next year. So I want to keep the food coming in, but uh, I hope you've been enjoying this. Until next time, Delgaro.